I was trying to figure out what design that is, but without my glasses on, I couldn't see it. So I figured if I videotape it and then put my glasses on, I could see what I'm wearing. In case this line of work doesn't work out for me, I have a lot of practice as a hand model. Anyways, these are super expensive fashion designer cheater glasses I just bought. The most expensive pair the Dollar Tree had to offer, so I bought them. They might look funky, but I could see very well with them. Yeah. Oh. Check that out. That's what I bought them for, so I could get my focus point. I'm going to set these aside. Hmm. Where's a good place for them? We'll hang them right here. Let's uh, show everyone what I've been doing here. Fred Sanford's fitted sewing machine parts. And I've done a few videos. And I am organizing these box openings. The parts coming out of the box opening as they come in. We have an envelope for hardware up, up here. Nikki, way over here. Singers, almost filled. Um, Viking, almost filled to the top. Bath, there are some very highly priced parts in this. 60 $65 is very common. Elna, same thing. Uh, we have one for attachments. One for attachments, one for bobbins, one for belts, one for miscellaneous. I found this industrial foot chart. I decided to hang it up right there. Now you all wonder what I'm doing here with this machine. Let me get my glasses again. Oh my goodness. I can see. Oh, by the way, I added some more lights. We got dual lights now. Power of LEDs, too. All right, here we go. Kind of want to show the condition some of these machines come in. Very, very dirty. Singer 66, but don't let the dirt fool you. For those uh, looking to buy a machine, well, at least for me, I should at least say for me at least. For me, it don't really matter because one way or the other, it's coming home with me. Whether it's good or no good, I'll still use it. So, looking at this, if I was to go into a, a second-hand store and see this, I would consider this a good machine. Because I'm looking at, the first thing I like to look for is the decals. Not a whole lot of decals on this one. I'm just going to give it a quick wipe down of the little bit of dust here. And we're going to skip a step of like cleaning the grime off. I'm just gonna kind of use this machine to show something else here. But let's just wipe her down and we'll set that aside. And we have oil rag here. Different one. We're just gonna throw a little oil on it. Normally that would be like a second step here and get that grime. It ain't really not that grimy. I guess some machines you might be able to skip that step. We're just going to clean the bed off. And I threw it on the machine. I should actually threw it on the cloth here. But it's okay. Alright, so that was real quick. How long did that take? We got some weird stainings over here. I don't know what that's all about. So it might come off. So that's a nice looking 66. It didn't have typical missing part is the needle plate. And a common problem is is uh, probably the owner's error from putting it on incorrectly putting it on. In common sense, 
most people think just slide it on this way and they're like why won't it lock why well, won't it lock and then it just ends up getting lost where the best way is is you remove this needle take off your foot and screw here and come in from this side at around a, about a 20 degree angle and come in from this side and you know you have it right because it will lock into place and it'll come off still if you bang it hard but when you put it on correctly it will not get lost by normal use all right so just clean it up so I can work with it without having a dirty machine so it was missing that part it was missing the foot pedal controller which takes this combo one which I have here with my 221 we're gonna listen to the motor Sewing. Let me remove the needle here so I'm not going to damage anything. Alright, here we go. Wow! I had a little cheater tag, I have to be honest, too. It said, a trade-in at the front door. See? It didn't say it's broken, didn't say it's a parts machine. It just said, it just said, our Singer 66 trade-in at the front door. Why would you trade it in? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, you know what I was, t the whole point of this video, I just realized it worked. I was m confirming some of these new belts I got. Where are they? The whole purpose of the video. Check it out. This new wholesaler I'm with work with. Well, it's been a while now. I shouldn't say new anymore. But a couple of years. So this is one of the items. Is this belt right here? And if you're tired of paying a lot of money for belts, or don't necessarily need an expensive leather belt, because a leather belt will run you about Oh, I guess on a good day about eight bucks, but a lot of people charge around twelve for a leather belt. This is a cheap alternative. These can last probably up to a year, maybe longer with normal use. All right. This I didn't even try to adjust the motor. I just put the belt on. Wherever it was at with the original. Let me show you what the original looked like. This is leather. This doesn't normally happen for leather until about 10, 10 years of use. That's your difference. But yeah, this is just, it's far gone. Let's go for the trash. So let's see if there's a number on it. Nope, no number on it. No number. It's that worn. I can't even see the singer number on it anymore. It's that worn. But look, check it out. 66. Singer 15, um, I should have brought the list with me. All your, basically all your common singers will use this. 99, uh, 201s, uh, 306, 206, 319, I'll provide a list. I'll provide a list what these go to. But we're gonna do that. We're gonna toss that belt out. All right, so the belts work. Um, we're gonna do a package deal includes these belts includes the needles and I, I'll be right back I should have had I should have been more prepared hold on Harley like I uh, will um, see here 
I will let you know what these belts go to. Come on in, Harley. Say hi to everyone. Come on, Harley. Miss Harley, the vintage sewing machine sniffing dog. Where are you? The one and only. Hi. The one and only. All right, these belts, good for Singer 15, 185, 306, 319, 327, 328, 329, 66, and 99. And I'm pretty sure 201, too. I don't see that in the list. it wouldn't be any with the pot and motors. Alright, here we go. So, you see in the machine, the belts work. And we're going to offer four of them. Right, Harley? I see you over there. That's at least four years of use. Maybe eight years. You get two years of belt out of them. We're going to include four packs of Singer 10 pack needles. And there'll be a variety selection, okay? And then you got four and four. Oh, well, I just want to show this. You get a tire that looks like that, or do you ever get one that Bob and Winder tire? That feels like hard as a rock. All right. I didn't bring them over here. You're gonna get four of those too. Four Bob and Winder tires. Four belts. Four packs of needles. But wait, there's more. I'll tell you the price. It's fifteen dollars. Four belts. Four packs of needles. Four Bob and Winder tires. And whatever's in this hand right here. You ready? It's gonna be good. Isn't that cool? Wood grain. Check it out. How cool is that? To store your needles in. These packs I'll just let people know uh, I got this on video. I found it there. So these needles can be so sharp, they poke right through here, and then they start falling out. So when I send these out, you might will see that I'll send these out in a plastic bag. If you're not going to use something like this, keep them in the plastic bags I send them in, because they will poke through there. They will eventually. So far, I've been lucky with these packs. So there we go, $15. All right, so we know the belts work. I'll send the right bobbin tires. These are standard 15 by one needles. They're, they say 2020 in the back. This is a size 14, all right. Let's send it off to the sound of music. Is it music? I don't even need to start it. I don't even need to help it. Anybody interested in that machine? Local pickup, scent, however you want it, let me know. If you're close to Michigan, we can work something out. So it as is. Oh, all it needs back here. Oh, let's test the light. No, no light working. Could probably just a bulb issue because I already inspected the wires. All it needs is the glass part here. So I could got the part to that. Probably can get that part. So good to go. It needs a base because it don't sit level without. It's one of them machines. Please uh, share the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so yet. More to come. A lot more to come.